Island girl got in up. I'm your man up today. We gonna just gonna do a little walk around because it's been so cloudy here the last month or so, and ain't too much been doing too much growing around here. So we could just see what's growing around here today. Get a little update on the gardening and everything. So here we go. Let's take a look around. See what we got going on. So this is our sweetheart cherry trees. We seen one of our other videos. We already. Took the fruit off of that. It's a little herb garden back here, right up here. Little basil, thyme, mint. And this is our um, solitary bees. They've been so cool outside, they haven't really emerged. They've been so cool outside. So normally, normally it would take, um, they like temperatures in the 70s. Once you get 70 degrees and up, they like to come out. But it hasn't really been 70 at night yet, so they haven't most of them. I've seen a couple of them come, um, come out with not few. I'm not really that many, not that many. So I have a sweetheart cherry. This is our early, early, early Louisiana Satsuma. This is our wiry Satsuma. Has fruit on it. Last year they had one, no fruit on it last year. Year for last had one on it. And as you can see, we're getting rid of our hot tub. Our hot tub is about to go, y'all. Wife don't want it to go, but we're gonna let it go because we don't use it. Might as well let somebody use it, enjoy it. Still, unless sitting there ain't doing nothing, ain't being used. So we're gonna sell that. So we're thinking about either putting a koi pond right here or put a couple more trees. So I haven't decided yet. I think it might be the koi pond, but anyway, here what we got going on. This is our rona berries. As you can see, this is rona berries, are very huge from last year. It had really, it'll probably grow about two feet from last year. This is our banana tree. It's about 15 feet tall. Hopefully we get some bananas this year. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And this is our blueberries. We covered it with a little netting. As you can see, some of them, some of them are starting to turn. They're starting to turn. They're starting to turn. Some more over here starting to turn. One right there is still green. And some of our little rose cutting. We do these cuttings, cuttings and roses, and they are starting to grow. Rose cuttings are pretty easy, but citrus cutting is a little bit hard for me. Okay. Now, pineapples. We have this pineapple coming out. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's number four. And number five. And number six. Number seven. Number eight. We had eight pineapples, y'all. Eight pineapples this year. And as you can see, our sugar snaps are starting to die back a little bit. And our watermelons are coming up. It's starting to spread. Our tomatoes are starting to jump up out the ground with just a little bit of rain. And our onions, it's about time to pull these up. You can see some nice little sized onions there. We have some white and some red onions. I was corn is starting to come up. So like I said, it's been so cool here this year that you know, our peppers haven't really started to come up yet that much. It guess hasn't been that hot. And then we got our uh, zucchini, our strawberries. We got our, our sweet potatoes. We got red sweet potatoes and we got purple sweet potatoes in here. This half is purple, this half is red. Then we got our white potatoes right here. This should be ready in another week or two. They're starting to fall over. 
like I said, this is our hot peppers on this end of the bed. That's the stick going that way is all sweet peppers. And we got our cucumbers, which is just starting to really do anything. That's a little bee on it. We have our flowers right here. I don't know the name of this flower, but the bees love it. The bees all love it. Bees love that plant. Then we got our greens here. I guess the greens. A little lettuce she planted last summer, last fall, and forgot about it. And let's see what else we got going on out here. We have, let's just see our sugar snaps right there. We got a voluntary watermelon right here. This voluntary popped up in this pot. Got some sweet potatoes in this pot. And a volunteer tomato pop up. Some grapevines cuttings. Some cuttings I did. Kyra Kyra orange. The grapefruit one really took off. And a Satsuma. Got a kumquat plant. Kumquat. Our lemon tree. This lemon. I thought I wasn't going to make it. But it popped back strong. That's lemons, nice lemons on it. So, color Monday. A couple graphs I did. Flower. This is our wiry Satsuma. This tree had one fruit on it last year. Look at this year. It is loaded. I put it in the ground last year. And it is doing wow, wonderful. Then we got our white moss grapefruit. Which is doing awesome too. Then we got our Santa Grab Blood Orange. And we got our, what do we got here? We got a Ruby Red Grapefruit right here. It's starting to bud out. And back on the back side, we have our Sweet Lime. I thought it had bubs on it, but I don't see any. Oh, there they are. Our Sweet Lime right there. Let me see if I got it in the right spot. Right there. Sweet limes. Those limes are a lot sweeter than the regular limes. And of course, we got our sugar cane. We got our carrots. We pulled some of them up. We left some of them in. And this is our hibiscus. Hibiscus. Uh, they call it Florida cranberry. They call it um, uh, Jamaica serum. You can make the tea out of it, good for blood pressure. You can make the uh, jellies and jams out of it. This tree here is my pear tree. I got a bare root. It's really starting to do a little something. Then we got our, got our raspberries. Got some right there. Raspberries and blackberries. We got our elderberry bush. I love them right here. Then we had the big one right here. This one really. This one's about this size or the smaller one. It's about the size of this one last year. So they grew very big and fast. Great vine doing a little bit. I dug it up, moved it. So it might not do much this year. Peaches, uh, I don't know, peaches. They're looking suspect. My apple tree over here. Miss Allen girl, she wrapped them in. These little bags. Not flower garden. This is a grape bush. The native to Virginia is a kind of grape bush right there. That's about it. We have a couple more things inside of the, um, I mean this stream bean, I mean this sugar snap bean. We have a uh, coffee tree, which is really ain't doing nothing. If someone know about these coffee trees and how to get them to grow. We had about five years now. It probably grew. 
Probably three feet in five years. Not a very red grapefruit, of course. Another little grapefruit tree. Got red lines. Starting to turn color. Got dragon fruit, which is um it's doing a little something. Then we have here a couple of quan cons quan con quat piece of blood. Another orange tree, center gray blood orange. Quan quat quat right there. We see how these two flowers. Lemon tree. Kara Kara orange. You haven't done anything since I had it the last four years. I bought it from, you know, that place. Supposedly never fast. But, you know, we ain't gonna mention their names. But that's all we got going on today in the garden. You probably can pull up these onions sometime this week, so. Leave a thumbs up. Help share the video. Until next time. I'll enjoy gardening it up. I'm your man up. Put a seed in the ground.